some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have that malfeasant, sicko, psychopathic, bootlicker to Katie Kidman sheep show going after three individuals. Familia TV, Dr. Dave Beer Professor, and myself. Now I'll leave the other two to rebut what he had to say, but I'm just going to talk about one in particular thing that he thinks he had me on. People, this is Sheep Show and I am born again. Recently, the comment section of our channel has been infested with trolls. Their excrement, which sometimes resembles the English language, is literally scattered everywhere. Much of the increased troll activity is due to my support of a 62-year-old grandmother who has suffered greatly at the hands of an unjust, tyrannical, and oppressive government empowered and enabled by the aforementioned. Another reason for the increased activity of these demonic gremlins is the fact that more of their fearless and heroic leaders are doing stories about my channel. In order to combat this infestation of goblin gibberish, which is literally stinking up the place, I have updated our no troll policy which will now be posted in the description of every video and we will double our efforts to eradicate these fake American, deep-throated, cop-sucking, blue-line-worshipping, boot-licking, freedom-hating monsters from our midst. And if I should fail, then I will be doomed to suffer the same horrific consequences as other YouTube channels like Silence Boy, who after the Hobgoblin army joined forces and viciously and relentlessly attacked his channel, went from about 15,000 subs to almost 40,000 subs in just a few short months. I know I said I'd tackle only one point, but after seeing this part, I think I'll tackle a few more. Your mentioning of Silence Boy does not make a complete picture of the Fraudator community as a whole with all the fa other failed channels out there. In the mathematical field of statistics, Silence Boy would be considered an outlier. And I don't mean outlier as somebody who lies, that's a different terminology altogether. All that means is it's a data point far outside of the mean, whether it's low or high. So using Silence Boy as a reference point doesn't impress me too much. Okay, I'm just going to skip ahead to the point I was going to make. Yeah, I skip past Familiar TV and Dr. Dave. Let them take care of this dude. Oh boy, have I saved the best for last. This nutless troll sack managed to get more wrong than the previous two combined. This troglodyte gutter slut even sounds like a troll. Let's skip the troll foreplay and get right to the good stuff. Seconds after this colossal conundrum ridicules my legal genius, she says this. You know, if you would take two minutes and stop being a sheep and licking Rochelle's boots, you might be able to find that it is not legal in California to go into a school and start filming. But please, carry on with your stupidity. Okay, trolls, I'm going to read it real slow for you because I'm sympathetic to the fact that your heads are so far up your asses that you can't tell the difference between hemorrhoids and a toothache. So here goes nothing. The legislature finds that use by any person, including a pupil of any electronic listening or recording device in any classroom. Here, I'll do it again for you. In any classroom. Is your slow reading supposed to be an indicator of your stupidity? Well, let me read a doctrine that is generally used at every school that I've been at. Because guess what? I am currently a paraprofessional who deals in mainly ESC and EBD students. I have been trained in general education. I have a statement of eligibility to be able to teach in 6th through 12th grade history and social sciences. And I currently have four years of experience in the field of education dealing with students every day. So... Here's some general education as to what a classroom entails. And it is not that narrow view you have. 
The word classroom is commonly used to refer to such a room at every level of education, including elementary school, high school, and college. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. It can be used in a more general way to refer to any space where the students are being taught by a teacher. So, let me break this down for you so it's crystal clear. Any place on school grounds is a classroom, inside or out, in the principal's office or in the traditional location, outside during P.E., inside the gym, out in the parking lot, any spot at any time that has children and a teacher is a classroom. For example, a science teacher can take the students outside the classroom, go to a tree, and pick the leaves off the tree as part of a particular lesson plan that day. I can go through a thousand more examples, but I don't have that kind of time. With that in mind, no place in school is appropriate to film. Because at any time, a teacher and some students can come into the area and do a lesson plan. So, knowing that, now we know why Katie Kidman was given probation. And then you will be given probation, or perhaps more, if you continue down your path, you sick, twisted freak.